Hey guys, it's Lindsay at Road Trip Soul. So today I want to talk about things that you should include in your car camper build out to help you be as comfortable as possible. One of the things you're going to notice almost immediately when you start sleeping in your car is your car suddenly becomes very confining and very tight. So even though in theory I can like kind of stretch out, it doesn't feel like it when you are spending 24 hours a day in this tiny little space. One of the things you're gonna to wanna to include so you can get out of your car as much as possible is a folding chair. Even though you, in theory, can sit in your driver's seat, you don't realize how uncomfortable it is to sit in your driver's seat 24 hours a day until you have to. So if you also have a large ice chest, you can always sit on that if you need to, if you don't have room for a folding chair. Um, one of the things you're gonna discover as you get into car camping is space becomes a premium and you become very good at prioritizing what you have to have versus what's just nice to have. But from my perspective, it's really important for me to have some place I can sit outside of my car. In addition to a folding chair, you might want to include, I have like a picnic blanket. Fold out and has like, which like zips up. Wow. This is When I unzip, it has like, look, like a shiny side and a protecting side, and so like it won't get so dirty. And fold it up. And I actually use this to um, prop up my bed, which if you're interested in that, I'll put a link up to below and how I have my bed set up. Another thing that I include in my build out is a TV tray. And you can see that in my video where I give a tour of my build up, which I'll put a link to up here. But the point of that is to be able to give myself sort of a standing workspace or also a space where I can sit at my folding chair and have like a TV tray, a little table where I can work. So I can either work on my laptop, I can eat there, I can use it for like, right, whatever you need to do. You have basically a portable desk so you can get out of your car. So another thing that I've started to include is a little pop-up canopy. Mine is like just a little personal, tiny, like four foot by six foot pop-up canopy. Put it over wherever I'm sitting. If I'm cooking up out of my trunk, like I can stand it up there. Really sunny or in case it's raining. came to my car it started raining and even though I could hang out in my car if it's raining I realized I just really didn't want to the idea of being cooped up inside my car during a rainstorm was so unappealing that pop-up canopy has been very important to me and then another thing that I've started to include is a hammock um, and this is just so that I can like get outside, lay down, like stretch out and have somewhere where it's just like not inside the car and it's not on the ground because like it's really, it can be really uncomfortable sleeping in your car. And so you want to try to make that as comfortable as possible. And a hammock doesn't take up that much space. It isn't that expensive. I got this on sale for like 15, 20 bucks. Um, and it's just a really good option. So yeah, that's my first tip if you're trying to be as comfortable as possible is to get outside. The second thing you're going to want to do is to raise workspaces up from the ground. If you have a camp stove and nowhere to put it, you're going to be crouched over, you're going to be doing your dishes on the ground. Like you need to plan ahead to be able to like raise things up as much as possible because it's just like so uncomfortable crouching all the time. So that's why I have my TV tray. That's why I have my galley built up in my trunk. So it's just a standing workspace. And then finally, when you're um, packing, to, when you're packing to be on the road, you're going to want to include things that will help you be comfortable. So this is like hat, it's sunscreen, it's bug spray if you're in the south, poncho if it's raining. There's nothing worse than just being wet. Don't say it. So yeah, those are my tips for you um, in terms of making your car camp setup um, as functional as possible.
If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I love to see those comments. Also, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that then I can be a YouTube partner. Remember, adventure awaits. If you can't have a folding chair, you could always like go to a park where there's benches or like picnic baskets or, or picnic, ben picnic tables, <laughs> picnic tables.